Okay, what we're looking at here is the idea of subroutines. Now, a subroutine allows you to set up a, write, write up a set of instructions, which will then allow you to refer to those over and over and over again. So, what we refer to that, we call that as um, defining, uh, calling back uh, subroutines. So, so, to do that, what we do is we define them by saying def, and we give it a subroutine name. So, I'm going to call this um, hello. And def hello is going to print hello world. The idea of this is that there is going to be um, a set of subroutines that allows you to display the things that you've learned so far this semester. So we define a function like that using the so we say def the name the brackets and the colon, and then we say and then in there we, we indent it and then we put out the function. Uh, the subroutine. Um, so from there, I'm going to make that one called def food, and this is going to be the second folio PC you made. So we'll say print, and I will say um, food. Oh no, sorry, print. What do you have for lunch? And we'll say uh, lunch raw input. Input. And it will say print. You had plus lunch plus. That sounds lovely. Okay, and then from there we did the thing with the age as well. So we asked for age. So we'll say def. Plus some maths because we did some maths operations, and I'm going to say um, actually no, we'll leave that. And then from there, I am going to print uh, a menu saying, uh, "What do you want to look at? One, hello world. Two." Um, lunch. Okay, and from there, <coughs> going to call another thing, call it choice. Raw input. Um, uh, so now we've got choice. Raw input. Um, then we're going to say if choice equals one. Um, if choice equals one, it will call hello. Else, if choice two, it will call food. Okay, and then from there, what we do is let's see how this works. So I'm going to say file, save as, and of course, subs. Short subroutines. Uh, let's set that to all files. We'll say that. Okay. I'll start the command prompt. Subs.py. Okay. Thinking. Oh no, that's giving me grief. So saying if the choice is two. Um, hmm. Oh, we need the colon. Save that. Start it again. Uh, what do I want to look at? One, hello world, too much. I'm going to say one. Has it printed it out? Hmm. Let's see what could be wrong. We need the colon. Oops. Nope, the market. Um, let's see. Let's say if choice equals one, hello. If choice equals to food, and it's giving us so read the put out the menu and had issues with um with the else if statement. So let's see. Hmm. What could it be? Uh, what if we try talking marks? Sure. 
shooting works out and turn into a string. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, so. So, ordinarily, so what we've done here is instead of saying, okay, if choice equals one, print hello world, well, it's almost redundant. Um, and then choice two is um, this thing for food. Um, which put in food rather than writing out there goes the bell right rather than writing out all this code here do that so just to just to show you so for elif uh choice basically space four so we need two equals we want to now put food again so what that allows us to do is then rather than typing out all this here for food it just calls it again. So let's see how that works. I'll save that. So I want to do four. So there we go, now it works. Um, so that's what we're trying to do. So the idea of this is that you will show all of your, um, all the tasks you've done. So, um, so I'll set up the notepad. The notepad, so you need to write a program which displays a menu and then allows the user to choose one of the tasks to uh, observe that you have already created. So that is, you should have hello world, thing with the food, with the maths, um, maths and age, uh, age and old or young. Um, what else was there? Uh, loops and saving data. So they're the things you need to have. So you'd have one, two, three, four, five, like I had um, one, two here. So you go all the way out to six, which then, be, which then displays what you've done. Uh, then the user can choose uh, exactly what's going on there. From there, we will create a, um, and, and that's where we'll end this.